Hello everyone. It is Thursday, May 31st, and I decided that I'm going to vlog maybe Thursday through Sunday, like the weekend. So today is pretty super chill. I actually just had um, two people in town, um, two guests, Stu and Dakota, who are my very wonderful friends. They came in town because last Saturday was the Build and Bloom rally um, and they both stayed before and after that just because, just girly things. Um, so yeah, it was super, super, super great. All of that footage, if you're interested in watching the rally, we live streamed it um, and it's available on the Build and Bloom Facebook page. So I'll link that below if you're interested. I definitely highly recommend it. There's a lot, a lot of tips and tricks on just how to freelance. Um, and your photography business. Uh, Stu did such an excellent job speaking. I would literally highly suggest you guys just watching it for his part. Like, he's so, so gifted. This is the first day I've had to like, uh, have completely to myself and regroup. I worked when they were here, but it was a more of an emphasis on build and bloom. So I am today going into flat iron. Um, I have to go to a camera store to have them take a look at my film camera. Um, I learned how to shoot on film. Stu taught me when he was here how to shoot on film, but um, I like unrolled it on incorrectly and it, it exposed it to the light, whatever. I'm still gonna also later, so <laughs> I'm taking it in to have them try to show me how to unroll it because something is broken on it, of course. But, um, and then I'm going to go into the office and work. I'm meeting with a team member for Build and Bloom stuff, and then I'm gonna come back, develop some of my film, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. So it's not a super exciting day, but I figured that I would just try to vlog because to be honest, everything is a little bit more exciting in New York City. So first off, I have this t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. It says, saving the world is a girl's job. These jeans from Parker Smith, it might be kind of hard to see on my iPhone, but they're like a blue wash and then I really, really love, ignore my socks, the hem, zoom in. So I love the hem. I've always wanted to have like a hem like this. This is probably better way to show it. I am petite. I usually have to get my jeans tailored or cut, but not with these. So um, I'll link these below. I'm gonna link everything below for y'all in this video, but, um, and then I just have my Stan Smiths. I need to get new laces for these. Oh, and then I have the Build and Bloom Less Me More We Tote. There's something at the bottom holding the build and bloom down. There we go. These will be available at the Houston and Dallas rallies. They were at the New York City one that happened this past Saturday and it's really cute and fun. Beautiful day. Hi everyone. Okay, I just got home and I went and worked. I went to Photo Care on West 22nd Street and actually if any of you guys need a camera shop or a place to buy your film, I highly recommend them. Um, I went with Stu to get my first few rolls of film um, a couple of days ago and they were very, very helpful. They didn't help me as much, obviously because I had Stu there, to help me but when I went back today I was a little bit nervous I'm not gonna lie because with photography sometimes sales associates can make you feel kind of dumb um, but that was not the case the guy was beyond helpful went above and beyond was so kind uh, and I basically brought in my Minolta because it wasn't rolling up the film the lever on the top is broken But when we first brought it in they were able to show me how to unroll it, but I just couldn't get it So I brought it in today um, because I wanted to 
know how to unroll it properly, I guess. Um, it's a lot, my camera's like half broken, but it works. It's just a little DIY technique. And the guy helped me so much. I actually accidentally opened up the canister or the canister the the back of the camera twice yesterday but i still want to get the film developed to see how it's going to turn out um but the guy was so helpful he even like went as far to look online at like kbh.com or something a like rental place i'll link that down below too to find me another body if i wanted to actually just have a fully functioning camera but he actually after like 30 minutes was able to fix it for me then I dropped some film off to be developed, which I'm really excited about. Um, I dropped off my disposable with um, sister sister images on it. I also did some fun images of Dakota just to use the roll up. Then I dropped off the roll of film that Stu shot for sister sister. And then my messed up roll, but I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm believing that God has favor on my life and that this roll of film will not be that whack. So um, mine that I damaged. Hi everyone, it is Friday, June 1st. Last night I ended up not going to the gym. I ended up just hanging out and watching Netflix. I was very, very tired. I'm going to Soho today, gonna go work. Um, one of my past clients who's now my friend Haley is in town and um, I'm meeting up with her for a couple of hours and um, then I have a gym class tonight and then later this evening I'm meeting up with my friend Ezra who I haven't seen her in a minute so it's gonna be a good day okay this is my this is my outfit of the day it's not very exciting I have the same pants on the same jeans on from yesterday I broke out the All Stars today. I haven't worn them in a long time. And then my Harley Davidson t-shirt is, I think um, I got it from Shop Pepper Mayo Vintage, like last summer. I really love the fit of it. Also, my Gerber daisies are dead and I put a penny in them, but I don't know what they don't like. I put them in the sun a little bit, but yeah, they're not doing so well. They might not like the humidity. <laughs> I'm here. Hi, I'm with Hi. Haley, and we just finished all of like graphic briefing for the summer for Build and Bloom. I got my film back. This is the most damaged. The Lord is real. Chapter 16. Ezra and I are at by Chloe. This is pesto meatball sandwich. Yeah. The best on the menu. I got a classic burger with a gluten-free bun. <laughs> Everything is built in blue and yellow. Hello everyone, I just went to Nespresso. Sponsored. I'm trying to get home. The gym closes in like an hour. I'm trying to get over there and work out for like 45 minutes, bye. I'm gonna show y'all my nighttime skincare routine. I already did like half of it, but I've talked about it before in video, so this is just kind of a little bit of an update, whatever, anyways, okay. So first off, I have been using either A, my cellar water to remove my makeup, or B, this pre-cleanse from Dermalogica. Before that, I would use like either the Glam Glow one or the Soap and Glory one. Basically, just like they're both like balms that break down makeup. But I really, really like this. Um, the pre cleanse Dermalogica smells really good. You can use um, lukewarm warm water, you don't have to wait for the water to get hot. So, this is great. Or, okay, I am gonna mention this. So, I like this, it's from Garnier. But they test on animals, I found out. You guys on Instagram told me that. So I'm trying, I just am almost finished with it. I probably have one more night left and then I'm going to recycle it. Um, and instead, one of my coaching clients, Lindsay, has a vegan uh, skincare line called Velvet Report. She saw me talk about this on my story. She saw me talk about this on my story um, and that I wanted a different micellar water that doesn't test on animals. So she sent me this. <laughs> I'm gonna link her site down below. Um, I'm gonna try it tomorrow. 
maybe the next day whenever this is out I just want to go through this I don't want to waste it I wash my face with my glam glow super cleanse I've been using this for a long long time I love this they just sent me a refill so good Dermalogica did send me quite a bit of items this is not sponsored by them though y'all but um, I actually really really like their product Dermalogica recently this past week sent me the Biolume C serum which I've been using for a few days. I feel like with skincare, um, it takes like a few weeks to really see a difference, but you know, it smells like oranges, it has vitamin C in it. So I have, since they received this, put this on before moisturizer. And this is my favorite, and this is not sponsored, you guys, by Dermalogica, it's not. They don't even know I'm making this. Um, they just like send, like gift me the items, but I, it's not sponsored, it's not, I'm not required to do this. I just wanna make that clear. Um, this is the Fido Replenish Oil. So what I've been doing is mixing a few drops of this with my trusty Aven Triexa Moisturizer, and it's so, so good. This Aven Moisturizer, I do like three or four drops. Half a pump, oop, half a pump of this. So I mix this up. This makes the moisturizer so much thicker, I love it. And then to finish it off, event thermal spring water this is bougie but in the states you can get it or in france you can get this whole big bottle for eight euros mix this all in and that is my nighttime skincare routine i think my favorite item from it my favorite new item is dermalogica this oil drops because I used to use um, Trader Joe's rose oil and that's a little bit too thick for me. My favorite overall item that I've loved forever, Aven. I've talked about this so many times. It's so good. Okay, so my items from Shopo. I worked with Shopo, I think on like three, this might be my fourth or third um, sponsored post over on my Instagram and they're a huge blessing. They're super easy to work with too. And here are two items that I am working with them for the month of June. A pair of jeans. Hopefully these will fit. I think so. I've never actually had items from them that are too small. Sometimes a little bit too big, but okay. Ooh. Okay, cute. Plaid pants. And these are like high-waisted, which I love. I have a similar pair, but they're a drawstring. They're not high-waisted and I've read through the um, checks. So they look kind of similar, but different. Um, these are really, really, really cute. I think I'm going to shoot these two items on Sunday in Brooklyn with my friend Haley. Next up is a pair of jeans. I hope that these fit. I hope that these fit. Oh, wait. Wait, this isn't jeans. This is cuter. Um, they're, they had like an item selection list, so I just sent them a couple of the pieces I liked. But I am excited about this. <gasps> so cute. Okay, this is like the worst angle and the worst lighting and we have the American Eagle hanging out I hope you all know that this is like it's not a joke because like technically it is my company, but like Anyways, it's gonna the poster is gonna be hanging out with us in the vlog Hi y'all. It's Saturday morning It's 11 30 in the morning. Um, I slept in and it was so good. Today is a very chill day um, I am just gonna be like running some errands. I need to go to the grocery store, but I'm always hesitant about going to the Trader Joe's in New York City on a Saturday. I just feel like it's gonna be so packed. Then um, I need to do laundry very badly, very badly. Whenever I have guests in town, I just like don't know what it is, but I lose track of, of my laundry situation. Like I just put everything into the laundry bin when honestly I can wear the same shirt like two or three times as long as I don't smell. But I just always toss it, I don't know why. And then I'm filming quite a bit of YouTube videos. Last night I did a Instagram followers control my photo shoot on Instagram and so I'm going to start to film that today and then um, hopefully like Tuesday I actually film the video itself. I was gonna meet up with Haley again today but we decided not to just because it's nice out it's supposed to start thundering soon but it's not until two so i think i'm gonna go and do my bible study outside in the park this afternoon i'm using this today nespresso finally brought back the iced coffee except for i need to clean my machine which is not exciting okay videography first up i use 
What else? Soy milk. I used to use oat milk, but I just like how this froths more. I put quite a bit in. I like more creamer than coffee. At least when it comes to ones at home. I pop this on here. And then I hold this button down so it becomes blue and that will froth it without making it hot. Okay, I know this stove needs to be cleaned so bad, ignore it. Okay, then my Nespresso, it's kind of broken but kind of not. I just put it on always this third one. And since I'm having this outside today for my Bible study, um, I'm making it in a tumbler. So tumbler. Does anybody know where I can buy, probably honestly on Amazon, like storage for Nespresso pods? They sell them at Nespresso, but they're like 30 or $40. And I just want something that can sit on our very, very messy um, shelf and not take up like a random amount of space. Okay, you just add your ice, mix it up, and you are barista. Outfit of the day. It's so humid outside, but in a good way. I think there's going to be a thunderstorm tonight or today in the middle of the day so I'm trying to be outside as much as I can before that happens. I am so boring. I am so boring. I don't understand why you guys are still watching this video. To be honest, this is the most boring vlog in my opinion I have ever put out ever the only thing that literally saves it is like the whole film thing i'm also so awkward about filming myself alone in public like a, okay vlogging i finally made it to the gym and i'm just having a weird day to be honest okay i'm feeling much better now um i'm going to take a shower and get ready to go hang out with Haley, we decided to meet up um, just at the park and hang, you know, maybe we'll take some cute pics, who knows, who knows what's in store, just kind of a funky day, but I'm also planning some fun shoots for this upcoming week, so even if today is funky, the week is going to be good. Christina, Haley, and I are at Trader Joe's right now. It's fun. <laughs> You know. <laughs> and these are my favorite. These are the best ever. They're so good. But I also heard that there's this other chip that's similar to Hot Cheetos. But these. You like One thing I don't understand is stuff like this. Too much work. Too much work. Just get the frozen ones because they have the same ingredients. It's not like you can control it anymore. <laughs> this is for overachievers. And I'm a minimalist. 